One of the most important concepts you need to know about as a trader is the law of large numbers. What is the law of large numbers? Well, it states that you need to have enough occurrences of something for your actual win rate to match your expected win rate. For example, imagine I sell a 30 delta put. A 30 delta put should have a win rate of 70%, right? That's the expected win rate of a 30 delta short put. I should win 70% of the time. But what if I only trade one 30 delta put for my entire life? then my win rate's either going to be 100% or 0% because I'm either going to win or lose on that one 30 delta put, right? And that's the only one I ever trade. So my win rate in that case is not going to be anything like the expected win rate because the expected win rate is 70%, but I'm either going to have 100% or 0% win rate if I only ever trade one 30 delta put. So you have to trade enough of occurrences, right? So you can't do just one 30 delta put. To have that match the 70% win rate because you can't even really do 10 because if I only ever sell 10 30 delta puts, it's possible I could lose on all 10. Sometimes you have bad streaks, right? You have a run of bad luck. Still, those puts had a expected win rate of 70%. That was their probabilities, right? But if I only trade just a few occurrences, you know, you will run into a situation where the numbers just don't match. You have to trade enough occurrences of anything. Same thing with a coin flip, a coin flip, 50-50, right? 50% 50 chance it lands on heads, 50% chance it lands on tails. But what if I flip the coin 10 times? Am I going to get five heads and five tails? No. Rarely when you flip a coin, get a coin, get a, get a penny or a quarter, whatever you have, flip it 10 times. And the expected heads and tails should be 50-50, right? That's almost never what you're going to get if you only flip it 10 times. Now, flip it 100 times. Now, are you going to get more of a 50-50 kind of uh, uh, ratio there? You might, but still 100, that's still not great. Really, you need to do something 1,000 times or more for that expected win rate to match the actual win rate. Now, why do you need to know about this law of large numbers? Well, the law of large numbers... It can kind of keep you grounded. It can keep you from buying into a lot of the myths, a lot of the fallacies that I see sometimes people buying into. The other day I made a video about how markets are random and how fundamental analysis is BS, technical analysis is BS, none of it works. It's just all reading tarot cards, <laughs> reading tea leaves and things like that. You know, technical analysis doesn't work because markets are random. And then I had people come back at me, you know, people in the comments, people, it's like, no, that's not right. DT, you're not right about technical analysis or about the randomness of markets because, you know, the other day I was looking at the stock chart for, you know, ABC stock and I saw this pattern, you know, I drew a, a bull bear flag thingy on the chart with my technical drawings and I looked at MACD and stochastics and I saw that we were in an overbought, oversold condition and you know what, I predicted that ABC stock was going to go down the next day. You know what? It did. So, you know, F-U-D-T because technical analysis works. Well, that's great. That worked that one time, right? One occurrence, right? Law of large numbers, guys. <laughs> one time for anything that that doesn't prove anything, right? That's just, it, it could all just be coincidence because you know what, the other day, you know, I was trading uh, Google, right? And Google went up and earlier that morning, I drank a cup of coffee and you know what, the day before Google went down and I forgot to have my morning cup of coffee. Maybe, maybe Google went up because I had my morning cup of coffee. I mean, it had to be right. That, that couldn't just be a coincidence. Well, I tell you what, what if I drank coffee every day for a hundred days straight, let's see if Google goes up for a hundred straight days, right? <laughs> that, that would prove a point, right? And that's the same thing with this technical analysis BS and these chart patterns or whatever it is you're using to predict things, the magic eight ball or just throwing dice on the table, right? It's all random. Markets are random and there's nothing you can do to take away that randomness. So eventually you have to accept the law of large numbers. You have to be able to do something at least a few hundred times before anybody can really take you seriously as far as whatever tool or indicator, you know, and that's why none of this 
really makes any sense. And that's why you really have to just be weary of anybody that's trying to tell you that they've cracked the code, that they figured out how to predict the market with indicators or chart patterns or whatever kind of technical analysis they're doing. Because most of these guys, what they're doing is they're trying to prove a point, but only having done this particular method or used this indicator just one time or a handful of times, it's not something that's consistent. It's not something that's repeatable. It's not something they can do over and over again you know, a thousand times and get the same results. It's not going to be the same results. And they know it's not going to be the same results. So typically what they do is they cherry pick results. They tell you about the one time that technical analysis, that technical indicator actually worked for them. They don't tell you about the 99 times that it didn't work for them. Another thing about the law of large numbers is just because you need to trade enough occurrences for your actual win rate to match your expected win rate. When you're looking at traders online, anybody that is a trading guru, especially those on YouTube video platforms, you know, a lot of those guys, it is obvious that they're fake gurus, that they don't really trade. Because when you watch their videos, the way they talk, you can tell they don't trade or they don't trade often. And you rarely ever see them trade on camera. You know, like when I open up my trading platform, I don't do live trading sessions, but you can see I always have 15 to 20 open positions every time I open Tasty Trade, right? And it's usually not the same positions on one video as the next. You know, I'm very actively trading. I typically make about 200 to 300 trades every month. I'm looking at 2,000 to 3,000 trades a year right? That's a lot of occurrences. So there's no way I could be a losing trader and make that many trades. I have to know what I'm doing to trade that often, because if I didn't know what I was doing, there's no way I can make that many trades and still be in the game. I would have already blown up my account and be out of the game. But some of these people that you see on YouTube that are running these trading channels, you know, they, they open up their trading platform and they only have one position or two positions, maybe three positions. But those same three positions have been open for six months or longer, right? They're long-term positions. So they don't actively trade at all. They may make 10 trades for an entire year, right? I make, you know, on average, probably 10 trades a day, but these people don't even make that many trades in a year. Because of the law of large numbers, can you really trust anything uh, as far as these people's actual win rate? Is that really reflective of their trading abilities? No, of course not, right? They just don't trade enough. If you don't trade enough, you, you may be a great trader. You may be a phenomenal trader, but if you only make three trades a year, how the hell is anybody ever going to, to know about it? Same thing. You could be a horrible trader as well. But again, if you only make three trades a year, you, you we don't know yet. That's just not enough trades. You have to, again, you have to make thousands of trades before you really can objectively say, yeah, yeah, I, I know what I'm doing. I've got this trading thing figured out, or I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I've done blown up three accounts, right? So again, just the law of large numbers, don't trust any of the guys you see on YouTube that it's obvious they don't actively trade because some of them really don't trade at all. Because some of these guys, I've heard these horror stories of these people that take these, you know, thousands of dollars worth of courses, or they sign up for like this $20,000 a year mastermind group where I'm going to learn from this trading guru. And when they get there, this trading guru doesn't trade. He doesn't trade at all, right? And when they're in their group and they're talking about trading and possible trade ideas and things like that, he's telling the people in his group that's paid all these thousands of dollars, yeah, you guys should go do this, go do this, go trade that, go run this strategy. He's not doing it, though. Why is he not doing it? It's because he knows he really doesn't know how to trade, and he's he's not going to put his money at risk and lose his own money. What he's doing is he's suckering in people to pay him money, and then he's going to tell you guys what to go do. And if you guys win, great. If you guys lose, that's fine, too. It's not his money. Uh, again, that's the easy way to spot a fake guru. If Do they actively trade or not? If they don't actively trade, you can't trust them an inch. So please be mindful of the law of large numbers. The law of large numbers really separates the reality from the BS. And when we're talking about whether it be the fake gurus or in your own trading experience, if you're running a strategy that has, I don't know, a 90% win rate, but you only ever trade it three times and you lose all three times, that's just a run of bad luck, right? You haven't traded enough occurrences for that 90% win rate to finally match what your actual win rate is, right? You, again, you just have to trade more. And that's the thing with trading. 
the more trading you do, the better, which is something that, again, a lot of the fake gurus on the interwebs will not do, right? They're not actively trading and they're not really pushing you to actively trade a lot because that's not what they do. And then because, you know, when you find something that works, when you find something that has a, well, I'm just throw a number out there, an 87% win rate. And you think that that particular strategy has an edge and got this win rate, wouldn't you do it all the time? Wouldn't you do it as often as you could? Wouldn't you put on hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of these trades over your life? Yes, you would. Right. That just it's common sense. That makes sense. When somebody is only ever doing something, you know, three times a year, you know, make three trades a year. Again, just run away from those people. Don't walk. Run away. Peace, guys.